is Yolanda. Welcome to The Wave Online. There is nothing better than being here at The Wave with all of you. And I love it when we get to worship God together. I love it when we shine His light for everyone to see. We can do that by living His way and showing His love to all the people around us. Sing with me. Let's all stand up and get ready to sing and dance. It's time to worship our God who always gives us wisdom. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You are my help when I need wisdom. You always see me through to know that you're chasing. Today, we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you can see some of the perils of my profession. So you've been warned, danger awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're going to need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always some planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking, like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungle of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave. And I kind of missed that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. 
So here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But I learned my lesson. Look, two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says caution, poison ivy. So I took the longer path and you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. Then later, I got to the ancient ruins and there was a sign that said, warning, falling snakes. So guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life too. A lesson that I've already learned on my many, many, many Peruvian adventures. Oh, all right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru. <laughs> but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, Chapter 22, verse 3. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22, 3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. But childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop to take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step, act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. But childish people keep going and suffer for it. We find this verse in the Bible in Proverbs 22, 3.
kids, danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious website. It could be a friend that you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to try something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous. Don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. God made Solomon one of the wisest people the world has ever known. In fact, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. These Proverbs are really helpful for us today. They can help us make wise choices and get in the habit of living God's way. So kids, think before you act. You'll be so glad that you did. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that all wisdom comes from you. Thank you for reminding us today how we can put your wisdom into action. Please help us remember to stop and think before we act. Help us see danger coming and make the wise choice so we can stay safe. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember kids, all wisdom comes from God. When we grow in our relationship with God, when we talk to Him and read His Word, the Bible, we can grow in wisdom. So, stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do. Or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble. Maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. <laughs> Not funny! Okay kids, the one thing to remember today is think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. That looks real, right? Totally looks real. I'll see you next week, kids. Bye. Here's everything we've got going on at Twin Lakes Kids. Check it out. Hi, friends. I have a super exciting announcement. Every Friday on our social media page, we want to feature one of you. We're calling it Friend of the Week. If you want to be that friend, email us at kids at tlc.org and we'll send you more information. Send us your best jokes to be featured on Silly Saturday. Go to tlc.org slash kids to submit. Find us on Facebook and Instagram where we post new things every day. Devos, worship songs, this or that Thursday, and Silly Saturday. Check it out at Twin Lakes Kids. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes Kids families. If there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org kids to send us yours.